Hello and welcome back to the Saintly Scots. So last time we got a little bit of land at the bottom of Aquitaine for uh, the rightful ruler. Well, one of the rightful rulers. Uh, we just need to retrieve our army and then, uh, yeah, see what we want to do next. My son, Prince Archibald, has requested to join the Knights Hospitaller with their struggle against the infidel, even though this will forever disinherit him. Well, he is a eunuch already, so it doesn't matter that it's going to disinherit him. So, yes, go with my blessing, son. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, arrange betrothal between my daughter, Morna, and Silvestro, uh, your son. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of over I'm kind of all right with that one. Yeah, I'll accept. Yeah. You want an alliance, Italy? No. Okay. Well, you know, can't say I didn't try. Uh, let's merge up over here. Well, not merge up. Let's head up over here. Uh, we are very, very threatening. We've got 30% threat. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of people join defensive packs against us. How many are we getting away every month? 0 0.25. Yeah. So it's going to take a while for that threat to burn off. We need a new um, new commander. It could be Lutbert. Uh, right now I'm just going to resign and resign this one. Perfect. Disband the boats and unpause. Let the game go. Just the other day, skulking as I often do, I caught Prince... Seabert of England and my courtier Ethel Gifu in flagrant. Lost in the passion, they did not notice me, but I'm still in shock. Um, I don't know. Forgive and forget. It's alright. Ooh, we're about to finish a bunch of buildings. Makes a lot more money now once we do that. Or well, maybe. Distinguished Emperor Michael, I wish to formally invite you to my court for a period of festivities leading up to my coronation. Sincerely, King Hartwig of Lotharingia. Uh, right, turn off the jour. Oh, interesting, that's where Lotharingia is. Anyway, or that's where it is right now. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll tend. Why not? I w oh, there's where I knew the, na the uh, name Barbaral from. I was thinking last episode, I said, Oh, I know the name Barbaral from somewhere, I wonder where it is. Yes, of course, it's my wife. Who has many, many titles, actually. That's a lot of titles she's uh, picked up. Anyway, it's fine. Although two of them are regents, so I guess it makes sense. King Hartwig entertained his guests during the evening with a remarkable show of knowledge in the matters of state. While tedious to a few of his guests, some of the ideas we all discussed about how to improve and solidify a realm's economy were quite inspirational. I wonder if I could apply them to my own holdings. Oh, a chance of stewardship going up. Nope. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, oh, we're away on a journey. That's where our domain size dropped. Recently, I've noticed my son Robert has the flu. Well, I'll call for my court physician and hopefully he won't uh, castrate him like he did previously. Or like the previous one did. King Hartwig kneels before Pope Benedictus VI as his host of vassals surrounds him in complete silence. The Pope blesses him and places the royal crown upon his head, proclaiming him King of Lotharingia by grace of God. Oh, fantastic news. With the ceremony finally concluded, King Hartwig bid me farewell and dismissed me from his court alongside all of his other guests. Good to be back in York. Yeah, it is. The Regency is over and we can have a quick look at diseases just because I saw we have some in our realm. It's just measles. That's fine. Just in the just in Cornwall. That's alright. My prisoner is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeons. You know what? I'll be, I'll be merciful. Y you can even join me for dinner. Ha 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 Only a few hours after his unfortunate demise, Abdul Jahil has joined the traitorous peers in the main hall, fashionably dressed and propped on a long dusty table, the vacuous gaze of his corpse staring at the empty plates before him. Here you now have a charming new guest. Isn't that lovely? Right. I'll teach him to uh, make himself known. Uh, King Sabert of England has inherited uh, from King Svithrad of England. Okay. Uh, why do you not like me? Many, many, many reasons. Okay, well, how about... Uh, you can't be my steward. Uh, I guess Lutbert can be my steward. Are you good at anything? Kind of alright at Marshall? Who's our current Marshall? Oh, somebody much better than you. I see. Is our advisor good at anything? Tadric. Why is he my advisor? It's fire Tadric. That's alright. New advisor's gonna be... 
It could be the King of England, yeah. Let's see. We really don't want our um, most powerful vassal unhappy at us. I assume he's our most powerful vassal. I mean, I haven't checked, but... I mean, if I go and have a look at vassal power... Uh, no, Magnus is actually higher. My cousin Magnus, who is uh, in a revolt against England. Oh. We might have actually just given, by giving gold, we might have given, made Magnus less likely to win. Okay. Although he holds a lot of the English land up here while the other English lands all split up, so. Interesting. It's fine. A blessed is past. Ulf the Berg lived a pious life. Oh, fantastic. There's another person in my court. Well, my uh, realm, I should say. Although the great conversion of Smolensk was a success, my work to help Grand Prince Ingvar II savage people turn themselves into proper Catholic converts is not done yet. Yeah, I'll give him some money. Esteemed Emperor Michael of Scotland, your generous offer was much appreciated. You can rest assured that your gold will be dutifully invested to spread the holy message of Jesus. Where she is, Smolensk? Well, it's all the way over there. Outstanding. Yeah, we, we're, that is pretty far over in terms of uh, conversions. I like it. Okay. Uh, continue chilling out. Most, most of our problems are a threat right now, but that's all right. Ooh, they can get married. Definitely get them married. Yeah, uh, our threat, yeah, I'll burn off over time. Wales has usurped Dorset. Uh, is that good or bad for us? Like, in terms of making the realm look nicer. Uh, kind of good, I guess, maybe? Yeah, whatever, seems all right. Um, that person's taking the Isle of Man, not a problem. Ooh, Castletown's been finished in York. Nice. Now making 33 from York? How much are we making per month now? Oh, 27, lovely. Raynaud is pressing a claim on, uh, he's just, he's not even pressing a claim, he's just gonna attack me for no apparent reason. That's not very nice. Yeah, hopefully he fails. Great Holy War for Delhi. The Dalai Lama has declared another Great Holy War for Delhi. So that's that bit of land right there. He's declared it on Delhi. Oh, this one might actually succeed because Delhi is very, very weak. Okay, cool. Right, back over this way. A young talented artist from York proposes to paint an iconic portrait of the Blessed Olay of Picardy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't want all those people to not like me, so we will do that. That's fine. Okay, um... Dear Emperor Michael of Scotland, during your wife's recent visit to North Connaught, we had a great time discussing the similarities between our people. I suggest a non-aggression pact. Wait, you hold all that la? Wait, what do you hold? Oh, you hold a lower title. I respectfully disagree, and in fact, I'm now going to attack you because I realize you exist. See, it's an issue when people tell me they exist. I'm going to declare for your holdings, and then march my way over there. Right, your righteous struggle against the heathens has not gone unnoticed. I've dispatched a papal emissary with sufficient funds to assist you. Oh, thanks, Pope. I really appreciate it. Um, do I have any... I think Middlesbrough still has something I can build here. More castle... Um, town? Ah, it, it doesn't have the castle infrastructure up. Wait, why is it making less money? Then. Uh, Whitby... It's got castle... T oh, there we go. I was on the wrong one. There we go, Middlesbrough. Yeah, build the uh, castle town there. Nice. We are making quite a lot now. We're now making 30 a month. Okay. Now we'll just siege it down. Could be fairly easy. I don't even have any commanders, so we won't get any negative siege events. Nice. Head back. Uh, we will inf uh, offer our demands and force peace. And then... Um, is that underneath this guy yet? Probably not. But if I transfer vassalage... Wait, is that Bishop of St. Peter's? Wait, um... If I can just go here... Oh no, that guy now holds the title. That's fine. Does he like me because I pressed his claim? No. Okay. Right, uh, march your way back. A blessed has passed. Sven Holming lived a pious life. Oh, isn't that nice to hear? Oh, he's also in my land. Everyone who lives a pious life is in my lands. Isn't that great? Uh, defense... That's the defensive pact has been disbanded against someone. I don't think that was me. There's still a little bit going down there in terms of threat. When's our truce with uh, the Umayyads up? The truce is up. Oh, it's on my one. Uh, 
in seven years. Okay. After helping them see the light of the Catholic faith, the people of Smolensk and their Grand Prince have often been in my thoughts. Perhaps visiting Grand Prince Ingvar II could help improve relations between our realms. Sounds like a great idea. Yes. Uh, Travelling to the tribal realm of Smolensk has been a reinvig reinvigorating experience for me. If only a small escort, I have left familiar sites in my homeland to visit the more savage region of the known world, only known only to help they spread the word of God. I cannot wait to witness the effects of mass conversion on Grand Prince Ingvar II and his subjects. Onward, that's a lot of piety. Despite having made our presence quite apparent, now being only a few days from Roslav, no welcoming party was sent from the capital to greet me. I'm not sure if Grand Prince Ingvar II's rudeness is a result of ignorance or spite. Well, you know what? We'll play it a little bit different. We're cruel and we're proud. I'm going to say I expected more. I was not happy to discover my host had only organized a small banquet in honor of my arrival. While I appreciated eating at least some decent food after long travel, it hardly felt like a feast fit for an emperor. This was not what I inspected. As the days pass in Roslav, I am more and more surprised by the complexity of the laws and customs of the locals. Grand Prince Ingvar II has revealed himself to be a distinguished and civilized ruler, very unlike the primitive chieftain I initially thought him to be. It's clear to me now that helping him to uh, him convert Smolensk was not a wasted effort. You know, very impressive, yes. Yes, and I get a diplomacy. Nice. Of only a few days left before my departure from Roslav, Grand Prince Ingvar II took some time during our last dinner together to tell me how honoured he was to host a guest as distinguished as myself, and he hopes this will not be the last time we meet. I assure you, the honour was indeed all yours. It's finally, time has finally come for me to leave Roslav and return to my own realm. Living with Grand Prince Ingvar II's tribe was certainly an interesting experience. By going to personally meet the new converts, I have done everything in my power to put these pagans on the right path. I am truly a pious emperor. Oh yeah. Regency has ended. And we are back in charge. Ooh, we can get another one of these. Military organization seems like a great one. And that means that we can get even more retinue. More pikemen. Yeah, we can't even afford the number of pikemen we can get now. Lovely. Uh, Wales has created the Duchy of Corellia over here. Oh, that's that one right there. Oh, they have expanded a little bit, actually, over in Wales. That's probably why our threat's not dropping quite as quickly as I was hoping. Uh, I've just received news that Grand Prince Ingvar II, the wise pagan ruler who positioned me to help convert his realm, has died. I can only hope that his successor is as enlightened as he was. Grand Prince Ingvar walks with God now. He seems to be a, a Catholic. That's all right. Good. Okay. Uh, Marshal King Rory told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief that it would improve the military. Sure, we'll do that. Whatever you say. We've got an Albertian Peasants' Revolt, which is uh, down in Aquitaine. Okay. Uh, I'm going to raise my vassal fleets and head over there. Right, we don't need to raise the vassal troops, just the fleets. Yeah, and England's uh, troops are already raised fighting a revolt, so we can't actually rely on them dealing with their own problem. Right, to head down here. Just want to drop ourselves down in decks. Right. Um, we'll wait for our morale to go up slightly, but then we want to attack. Nice, morale's gone up. Not going to force that guy out of factions. Going to attack the army. Nice. We have defeated their army. Get back over here. Get on the boats. And then head back up to York. Nice. Offer peace and force demands. And yeah, you're getting embalmed. Fantastic. Good news. Right. Head back up this way. More counties have been usurped. There is a duchy of Cornwall. Right, back up this way. Um, I wonder if we can get more bloodlines. I was just wondering whether we can get a new bloodline, given that we've got so much prestige and things. I'm not going to expand that. I was just, you know, out of curiosity. I wonder if you can get a bloodline from for embalming enough people. You know, you get from the embalming blood, from the original bloodline, you then get even more embalming. I don't know. Uh, you'd like these two people to marry. Yeah, I mean, they were betrothed, so that makes sense. Uh, you want an alliance? Nope. Okay. Raynaud's conquest of Ulster. Right. Uh, how many men does Raynaud have? 
Oh, I guess an easier way would be to go in here, right? 10,000. Oh, yeah, it might be worth raising some troops then, huh? Uh, raise troops. Merge up over here in Galloway. Expand those troops. Expand those troops. Nice. That's fine. Successful Great Holy War. Oh, fantastic. Well, I mean, it's good news for them. They failed so many times. But they have won the uh, Holy War for Delhi. I think. Wait, is that the right one? Or is that a different Holy War? Uh, Dral, yes, he is granted a uh, Galapo Shama... Shampala, Chuko of Utisang, victory in the Great Holy War for Delhi over Maharaja Alsi of Delhi. Yeah, so they took a very, very small amount of land there because actually the rest of it had just been taken by the Rash Rahu Rash Trahuta? Rashka yeah, anyway, it was taken by these people. This empire which is massive. Cursed infidels, obviously, all of them. But that's fine. Wait, where's Utisang anyway? They don't even exist. Guj is the only big place over there. If I check uh, the Azure Kingdoms... Yeah, actually, they hold no land within Delhi. So, that actually, the war just got invalidated, but it counts as a win. <laughs> okay. It's like, we're the last people standing. Counts as a win. Okay. Fine. Even though we didn't actually get the land at the end of the day. Oh! Matters of life and death? Oh, well, of course. With age comes wisdom, they say, or at least it may change the questions we ask, you mutter to yourself. You've had trouble sleeping lately, and more often than not, while the rest of your court is sound asleep, you find yourself staring at the ceiling. You are getting older each day, closer to leaving this plane of existence. It is folly to fear such things, of course, but you cannot keep feel these feelings at bay. You want more days of Barabal, your family. You sit up straight in your bed. This is ridiculous. You are the ruler. You have people ready to serve your any whim. Perhaps your counselors have ideas and nothing else that might ease your trouble sleeping. Summon the council. Yes, exactly. Summon the council. A meeting of the minds. Your council convenes and the faces of your advisor speaks confusion. Why are we here, my lord? It comes with, uh, it comes with a hint of concern. You sit down and suspense is almost tangible as you leave the question hanging in the air. Finally you speak and without disclosing much of your current nightly red restlessness you convey the message eloquently enough I want to discuss the concept of life and death and I want to look into everlasting life they nod slowly so what do you think the spirit rises in the room as your counselors start to talk some hesitantly some gesturing wildly they all have ideas so which one is the best oh wow and have this guy organize a search party okay um well, he has a lot of marshals, so I'm going to go with him. Yeah, King Rory will organize the search party. It's all right. Merge up. Head over to Ulster. And we have to split our army in half, but I think actually we're okay to stand, sit there. Yeah, we're... we're oh, there, there's the enemy. Oh, never mind. Uh, let's raise our boats. Uh, and go and beat them up. I didn't realize they would be attacking France when the war goal is in Ireland. My mistake. A daughter was born to Robert, called Ronalda. Fantastic. Uh, no, nothing special about her. Can't help but notice that we've only had granddaughters and no grandsons. Like one granddaughter, two more granddaughters, another granddaughter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, no sons. In fact, she is also. Wait, she has also only had daughters. Something's gone terribly wrong here. Wait, they've now arrived in York. Oh, so there are some that are actually heading towards the war goal. I'm still going to get them on the boats so I can go and uh, jump over this way and just attack them. Uh, I'm not going to ask my friend to join the war. We'll get the prestige for saying no friend. Right, head over this way. Don't want them to be able to siege down any of our land, so we'll just uh, rush and attack. Right, make sure we have leaders. Go and get them. Nice. Caught them before they could siege it down. That's a lot of war score. You heading over this way? No, they're heading way into my territory. Uh, paying your passage. I'm not going to say I believe the stories, but we may have picked up on some promising information, my lord, King Rory says. However, we could do with some more supplies if we were to journey even further. In fact, I would like to send, some wor I'd like to send word to hire scouts in certain more distant regions. 
If we were to follow the leads and continue this mission, he pauses at the door, his posture strained. Of course, there are other ways to reach eternity, he says. He sighs. Uh, when you open your mouth to respond indignantly, he interrupts you. I suppose the attitude comes with the job, Master. My apologies. Your marshal exits the room, his steps growing fainter as you consider your options. I'll send the whole world if need be. Exactly. Right, back up here. Go stop him sieging the war goal. Make sure we have a commander. Uh, it's going to be that one, Lawrence. And I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.